Extremist anti-abortion Catholic priest defrocked for blasphemous posts. Recently, Catholic priest Frank Pavone, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, so I'm just going with Pavone, a staunch anti-abortion activist was defrocked by the Vatican over, quote, blasphemous communications on social media and persistent disobedience to his bishop, who asked him to stop his partisan activism for former U.S. President Donald Trump. For those who don't know, defrocking in the Catholic faith means that a priest is stripped of his duties and stripped of being a priest. He's been completely removed from the priesthood. The decision to move Pavone from his position had already been made on November 9th. He has not been given a chance for appeal. Back in 2016, Pavone's former diocese of Amarillo, Texas, had already investigated Pavone, this is so crazy, for placing an aborted fetus on the altar and posting a video of it to two social media websites. Pavone accompanied the video with a post arguing that Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party would allow abortion to continue. At the same time, Donald Trump and the Republican Party would protect the life of the unborn. In response to the decision to defrock him, Pavone tweeted, tweeted, quote, So in every profession, including the priesthood, if you defend the hashtag unborn, you will be treated like them. The only difference is, is that when we are aborted, we continue to speak loud and clear. So this is so crazy. Let me, let me, let me, let me back up. This dude, I, I had to go look up this story about what happened in 2016 because I couldn't believe it. On the night of the, on the eve of the election of 2016, this priest took an aborted fetus I don't know how he got this and took it to the altar of a Catholic church and brought it on the altar and said, this is why we need to vote for Donald Trump because Hillary Clinton is going to allow this to happen, but Donald Trump will stop this. I didn't believe that this was real. I was like, this can't, this, did this really happen? Is that I, legal? I, I don't think it can be. How the hell do you get a fetus? How do you get an aborted fetus? Those, that's like a biohazard. I mean, they use that for research purposes, but that's in like a controlled environment. I know that there are regulations about how you get that kind of thing, what it can be used for. I don't know how this man got this. And he took this and did this on... The, the altar of a Catholic church. I cannot explain to you how my brain is exploding as a former Catholic. And it was a human fetus, right? Yes. Huh. Reportedly. Where do you, I, I do want to know. And then he posted where, where, where it to you... Facebook. Yeah, I'm actually very interested. I do want to know where, where can you order a human fetus? I don't, I don't think he, or, did he smuggle it from somewhere? You, I, 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 like, I have so many questions. It. I have so many questions. Somehow, oh, that I is not. I don't think you can, somebody's saying you can find it in medical waste. I don't think they just leave medical waste out in the open for people to No, go. that's so yeah. highly regulated. Like, yeah. It's like, oh, the dumpster out back. Like, what the hell? Like. And he did this on the altar of a Catholic church. Like, I don't, okay, if you if you didn't grow up as a Catholic, like, I do not know how to explain to you the level of desecration and sacrilege that that is. That is, like, the, the only level higher of sacrilege and desecration that I can think of is if you desecrated a Eucharist after it was blessed, because that would be the same as desecrating the flesh and blood of Christ himself. That is the only thing I can think of that is more sacrilegious than what this Catholic priest did. And somehow that was not what, I mean, he was reprimanded, I but, no, but that was not what defrocked him. So since that time, this dude, 
Doorknob head is crazy. He's saying Amazon is out of control. <laughs> I hate you. Fetuses for sale for fun, sport, and fundamentalist extremism. <laughs> so for cooking as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, as an atheist, you have to know it's really the best. Season. No, <laughs> how dare you? Atheists only eat born babies. We don't eat. Oh, oh, excuse yes. me. Yes, aborted is just not the same. No, no. you need that's a fresh. Not... Oh that's offensive God. yes we only that, yeah. that's an insult to my culture and i don't appreciate it i don't appreciate yeah. that kind of comment um <laughs> so apparently what was too far is that this guy is like an extremist donald trump fan he will be like at the pulpit wearing mega hats constantly posting in support of donald trump um he uh was also pushing like the big lie all this stuff. So it was apparently his partisanship that was the final straw. And but how is that blasphemous? You know, I don't really understand how that is blasphemous. Maybe in the sense that it is a like blasphemous misuse of his position. Like it could Maybe be he was like, that way. Did he, did he call Trump God Emperor Trump? Because that would be blasphemous. Yeah. I mean, unless... So the reporting on this is a little bit confusing because they talk about this incident in 2016 with the fetus. And like, and then he made social media posts about that. Like that, to me, that's extremely blasphemous. I mean, that's like as hardcore as it gets. Like, I'm, I, that is... Honestly, this guy, that guy, he's a bigger blasphemer than I am. Okay, mm. goddamn. But um, then when talking about what finally got him booted it seemed to be his partisanship ism so maybe they're talking about like in in accumulation like this incident that happened is part of the blasphemy da, 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 da. but that was the way that it was yeah. talked about as blasphemy maybe the crazy. partisanship is what got him in trouble but they went after him for his bla previous blasphemous stuff they're like this i guess so yeah I, I i don't know i mean but this guy how this is so wild to me armin because what's actually interesting is that evangelical Christians in America did not used to be as hardcore pro-abortion as they are now. They are Protestant, but it is decidedly because of the influence of the Catholic Church that evangelical Americans have become as hardcore pro-life as they are now. This is this like historically has not been as much of a thing for Protestants as it was for Catholics. Catholics are always hardcore about this. And then influenced american protestants to become as extremist as they are about it now that's my understanding and so there the, I, christianity is more hard i mean excuse me not even christianity catholicism is more hardcore about abortion than islam is than judaism is yeah all these things it's like one of the most extreme so how of an anti-abortion extremist do you have to be to be too extreme for the catholic church Mm. that's well, wild that is like i mean obviously i don't like this guy and what he stands for but in its own way that's kind of an achievement you know what i mean <laughs> get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description